Hi, my name is Sarah Curry and we're here at Pelican Harbor Seabird Station. Pelican Harbor Seabird Station is Miami's oldest wildlife rehabilitation facility. So we have a ton of native wildlife here in South Florida. It's from small warblers and songbirds that you might see in your backyard to raptors like osprey and owls. Pelican Harbor is kind of like a hidden gem in Miami. If you're a bird lover already, you probably know about us, but I wasn't necessarily a bird lover when I discovered Pelican Harbor, but I was an animal lover. And there's actually a ton of diverse birds in South Florida. We're really lucky to live in Miami. We have the beaches, we have the Everglades, and we're on this migratory pathway. So we have a ton of birds that come through Miami. And so we just have this huge diversity of species right here. And so it's really important that Pelican Harbor exists because in addition to all these species of birds that live in South Florida, humans live here. And so there's a ton of human wildlife interaction that causes these birds harm. From hook and line, from fishermen, to birds running into windows, to cat attacks, to rodenticide poisoning. So if you have rats or mice around your house and you poison them, the birds and raptors that eat those mice and rodents then get sick. So there's just a ton of ways that birds can get injured in South Florida and it's critical that places like Pelican Harbor exist so that we can care for the animals and get them back into the wild. Pelican Harbor, as the name implies, really focused on pelicans when we first started and it's still one of the main birds that we get in every year. We get in over 2,000 patients on average each year and so far in September of 2018, we've treated about 1,100 patients. But overall, we've treated over 31,000 patients in the 40 years we've been open. All of the work we do is made possible by people like you and through foundations who give us grants. We have some generous donors who have been contributing to us for decades, but we need more help because every year, all the threats to our native wildlife just increase as we have more pollutants in our waterways, as development continues, and just as South Florida's population continues to grow.